Okay, so we are going to go ahead and put in some data into something called a Google Sheet, and we're going to make a graph. So this will show you how to enter your data and how you can make more than one graph, actually. Um, but we'll start with just one. So uh, if you're in your main menu, you would do um, Create Google Sheet, and you'll have a sheet with all these boxes that looks like this. These are called cells in a spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet. And the first thing we're going to do is enter our data. So for uh, our class, we did a friction investigation, and we had five attempts. So I'll put in one, two. There's actually a trick you can use, which is if you pull that down, it will fill in in order, three, four, five. So we had um, five attempts, <clears throat> and we were testing different surfaces. So for example, one surface was the carpet. And we had different numbers for the carpet. How long did the cards roll? Maybe 22 centimeters, 18 centimeters, whatever. And then your next surface <clears throat> would be there. Or whatever your data is, it doesn't matter. But you want a little table like this um, for your data. And I actually have already uh, some of the data. So I'm going to just uh, paste that in there so we have the data. And now I'm going to show you how to make a graph quickly, how you can quickly make a graph here. So what you'll do next is highlight all of this information. So click, hold down the click and drag so everything is there. And then next you will go to insert chart and you're going to have a lot of different options here um, for this investigation i think the best chart we could do would be a line chart so we're going to go to chart types and click on line chart but we need to change some things around we want to use let's see we want to there we go um, so you want use row one as headers, and you want uh, use column A as labels. And now you can see on this chart, uh, this was our data for the friction experiment. Okay, and actually that's the right data now. Um, so we can see that these are the five times that we rolled the car on the carpet, and how far it went each time. So the carpet had the most friction, and again, the locker, it looks like, had the least friction because it went these distances each time. So once we've got that, we can go ahead and insert our chart. And we'll move it um, here so it's not blocking the data. But you could use this for any kind of science data or any data at all uh, to make a really quick graph because this takes a long time to do on paper. But if you use these tools on a spreadsheet, you can do it really quickly. Um, but I do want to add a couple things here. So I'm going to click on this, and there's no title. Um, so what I could do is edit it here, advanced edit. But I'm actually going to do a double click. So a right click or a two finger click. And I'm going to give it a title. And we're going to call this uh, friction investigation. And that's good now. So now we have a title, um, but I also want <clears throat> to label uh, this axis and this axis. So I'm again, I'm gonna double click and I want the left vertical axis title. And those numbers are centimeters, right? So we're gonna call this one centimeters. And then down here, this would be our horizontal axis title. These were the attempts. We did five attempts for each surface. Attempt one, two, three, four, five. Now we have this nice little graph. It just took us less than five minutes to make this to show our data. Um, while we have a little bit of time, I can show you a couple other graphs you could do. Um, let's see, if I 
leave out the attempts this time. I'm just going to highlight this part of it. And then again, we're going to go to insert chart and there's lots of options, but this is a nice little bar graph to show how far um, it rolled each time. So I could put that one in. So now we've got a whole nother uh, graph. Again, it took us about 10 seconds to make this to show all of the data. Um, or let's try one more. We could do something called a scatter graph. Again, insert chart. And I'm going to try, not, not all of these will work uh, depending on your data, but some of them will look pretty good. So this is called a scatter chart. And you can see it will show you each um, how far the cars rolled on each surface for all five times. And this C blue would be the first attempt, red's the second attempt. We don't even really need that. So I'm going to click on that, uh, double click. I'm just going to clear that. We don't need that there, but I could again put a title here. I could label this centimeters down here. If I wanted to label that, I could label this one. Uh, surfaces, yeah, those are the surfaces. So just a really easy way, once you have your data, to show it in uh, just a few minutes to show your data in different ways. So you could <clears throat> maybe make a few of these, just play around and decide uh, which one is your favorite to display. But again, you can move these around if you click and just um, maybe show your data in a bunch of different ways and decide which one is the best one to show, maybe for a poster or to put up uh, on the hall. Um, for this one, I, I kind of like this one. If you're just doing the median, maybe you could use a bar graph that might be a good way to show um, your data. But that's just a really quick way to make a graph of your data for any kind of scientific investigation. So that's it, and thank you.